looking to dine in the D, the options are endless from old spots to new spots to mom and pop shops. Question is, which ones are on top? Seven Action News reporter Andre Isom takes a look in our restaurant report card. Whether you are in the mood for a slice of pizza pie or a snack at the concession stand or some exotic ethnic cuisine, we've got you covered on which spots are making the grade and which ones are not quite cutting the mustard. If you have not eaten in the city, that is a pity. There's about 1,800 restaurants in Detroit right now. Every day there's a new dwelling to dine in. It's incredible, really. You better believe it is, and who would know better than the Detroit Health Department's Deputy Director himself. The Health Department's Food Safety Unit goes into all restaurants at some point during the year. To witness which ones are making the grade and which ones need some improvement. Which is why we go in unannounced most of the time. Uh, so folks don't know we're coming, they can't prepare. So I took a look at the latest restaurant inspection reports in the city, which took a to the kitchen concessions corner in Cobo Hall, where the inspector spotted quite a bit of chaos. Twelve priority violations from no hand washing to cross-contamination leading to potentially hazardous foods, no date on edible items, and raw meats next to the ready-to-eats. Why all the bloops and blunders? Well, it all went down during the auto show. Obviously, that's a whole different world and ball game, but again, they can prepare for that. We can help them to prepare for that. Next, we make our way to Maddie's African Restaurant. It sits on Grand River, and I hear... The food is good. Oh, I don't doubt it. However, the health department discovered more than a few snafus. Nine priority violations, mostly food storage and temperature issues, minus the molded onions. However, the owner, Amadi, assures me that was a mistake, and all the problems have been solved. That's for safety for people, and that's my safety too, because I want my business to keep going. And last, but certainly not least, we popped on over to the Jolly Pumpkin Pizzeria, where kudos are due for this crew. This fine establishment received an A. Sweet, that's awesome. Zero violations in your last inspection. I take a lot of pride in, in that health inspection, for sure. I give my staff a lot of credit. They are uh, amazing at what they do. And this place has plenty of palate pleasers. We are definitely known for our pizzas. So I'm going to say the spinach artichoke. Now what's not on the menu? These bows and their beers. So what other eateries did an excellent job on their last health inspection? The list is kind of long, so I am going to read it. Burger King on Plymouth, Evergreen Fish Express, Hard Rock Cafe, Livernoy Ocean Delight, KFC on Grand River, Matt Coney Island, Mary's Grill, and Subway on Outer Drive. Kudos to all of you guys. If you want to take a look at the reports for yourself, go to our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Andrea Isom in Detroit. 7 Action News. Wow, good to know where we can get some good eats in a nice clean place with no violations. And that's important. It right? is important yeah. for sure. A farm